kind of want to get out of town and uh, give you guys some content that, that I've never done before, and that is some trophy smallmouth fishing. Oh, they're for your hair. I thought they just went over your ear like this. <laughs> oh my god. Have a good time. like loose and <laughs> hey, you look like you're from the Matrix. Grass flip flops. Ooh, look at that cane with the skull on it. I got a bone. It's only 35 bucks. Can't move my neck. <laughs> you look like a Viking. Finally found you a wizard hat. Good morning, MFers, and welcome to Detroit, Michigan. Here we are, guys. This is the Detroit River. Hey, a fish. Fish number one of the uh, northbound tour. Oh, God, he just stopped yeah, it. Yeah, there's a fucking fish in there. Yeah. Yep. Just one. Just one. Really? So, yeah, I'm serious. Got him. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Yeah. Nope. There you go. That's yeah. a racket. That's a dirty one. Dirty oh. swim bait eater. Pow! Northbound tour. <laughs> that's a sexy that's, sight. That's a tub right there. That is the tub. That's the kind we're after, folks. Throwing this little six cents protos types. Ooh, that's a four pounder. Oh, oh my there. God, dude, that is so badass. We've been there when the wind. Picked yeah, up. the wind picked up. They moved up shallow, and we're getting bit on almost every cast now. And it's these guys. This is actually a, a smaller version there he is. prototype, doubled up. Oh my God, badass. Do a little prototype swim bait though. Four pounds smallie on this uh, six There's inch swim bait head. There is one with him. Can I have bigger. three? Bigger. Bigger? I don't think you're gonna be able to see it or eat it. All right, throwing this big girl back. Bubble, yeah. slap hands, slap hands. <laughs> yeah, bud. Dirty. You knew, you knew it. You knew it was five pounder. Okay. Hey, MFR is watching this video. If you could drop the damn poles, that'd be great. We done found them. Got one? Probably was, unless you're doing it really slow. I think no, I don't think so either. Oop. That's fish. Oh, it's a dark. That's a dark one. Oh, yes. We've been fishing this spot for like ever. And finally, wind, kicked up. wind picked up. Brought a front end. Look how dark that one. Well, he's not dark anymore. He was dark in the water. Look at that. Fat little three pounder on the swim bait. Hell yes. Joe, the prototype swim bait works. Tell Casey to make it. He, I thought, was a giant because yeah. he just. Oh, that's going to be a big one. Double. Doubled. Oh, I got a tank, dude. It's giant. I got a black one. Oh, God. Yes. Double, doubled up. Come here, big girl. What? That's a nice one. Dude, that's a tank. You bet. Oh, God. Doubled up, guys. It's happening now. Now it's just like, how fast can we get back in there? Beautiful, beautiful thing. White tips. On. Four and a quarter, probably, pound smallmouth on. Again, the old prototype. We better make half case to get this one out as soon as possible because. This dude is badass, and I've caught, what, four fish on the same one? What you know about that, Kai Tech? Got him. Ooh, that's a big one. On the lipless. Ooh! This is the old Quake. Quake. Big one on a Quake. Oh man, that's a big. Uh, I think he's he's good. He's hooked good. He's just gonna break me off. <laughs> tank, dude. Freaking tank. It's the biggest one. Might need you to go get him for me. Whew, that's a good. You reel it in, I'll tire him for a second. Here you go. You got musky that looks like. Yes, dude, that's a freaking tank. Yeah, you bet. Woo -hoo. Yes. All right, guys, really interesting phenomenon is about to happen as I uh, take this one off, this big one off the quake. We're slowing down the swim bait a little bit, so I 
fired a more aggressive bait up. We're fishing a shoal, actually. We're in like 20 feet of water. Get this guy back in the water. But we're, we're fishing, we're in like 20 feet of water. We're casting to four and they, they finally got active with all this uh, these waves and everything. But now we got a big, big barge coming by and that thing pushes so much water in the front of it, it'll actually pull the water level down a couple feet off of this shoal right here. So it should make the activity level pick up even more with all the bait fish getting stirred up crawdads and everything that's hiding in those rocks gets really sucked out because the current pull is different than it has been. But man, we've been fishing this spot for a couple hours and just almost nothing. And then all of a sudden this front blew in, it's cloudy, it's windy now, and the activity level is insane. You probably, oh, you got him? I thought he missed it. Biggin? Yeah, it's crappie. He's a beautiful sight. I'm about to throw some, some top waters. Ooh, pretty good one. Good at uh, spinner bait on the deck. I'm on the glow. glow. Joe freaking tied on my glow spinner bait like a big seen a video on the interweb. <laughs> <laughs> Typical YouTube watchers out here catching fish on my secret techniques that you showed me. <laughs> you bet. Three. Oh, got it. On the last, on the last Joe's like, oh, I'm gonna throw one more time just to see. And Mr. Smallhead comes up and cold plows the Wilson P. Oh yeah, that's not a bad one at all. Ooh, he's peeing. He's peeing. He's peeing. Smallest one, of course, that we've caught in the spot. Comes on top water. He didn't want it either. He just had to, you could tell. Barely got it. Lost dead. his lip, killed him, he's dead. Has he got a bait down there? What has he got down there? <laughs> what was he eating? Dude, what was that fish eating? It's a cheese curd! Dude, they're biting cheese curds. <laughs> Put one on a hook! <laughs> now you gotta eat it. <laughs> All right, MFers just made a little bit of a move. We, we got on them really good there. We're fishing a rock shoal on the edge of the shipping channel. So it's like 25, 30 feet deep. Goes right up into four feet. There's a bunch of uh, rock and everything. The problem was it was like two miles long. Uh, we had to figure out where the fish were and then that front blew in and it got absolutely on fire. It, it was a little nostalgic going back fishing where I fished four years ago. And I guess that's probably gonna be the tip of the day for me is um, if you catch fish somewhere four or five years ago, fish never move. Always fish the exact same stuff. Don't ever try anything different. Just go back and fish the same spots every single time because fish always stay put. And this has been just a tip. So right now we just moved actually into the shipping channel a little bit more. It's actually, that's Canada right there. That's the United States over there. And there's riprap laying the whole thing. As you can see, the water is blowing over the top of that rock right there. And off this, I don't know what that is, a lighthouse tower thing. And then over on the other side does the same type of thing. So we're going to fish some of this, uh, this riprap that current breaks on here. Hopefully get a big. Go on that party cruise boat. There's a the fish. Peckerhead, not too bad. Come here, bud. Well, guys, we we tried the whole throwing it rip wraps and channel breaks thing, and didn't work out for us. So came back to where we caught him earlier. Rewarded with a nice fat one on the magic tube. What else? Cool, pretty guy. Show you. I want to see a giant musky eat a seagull. I mean, it would probably be more violent than that, but I just envisioned them going. I'm retiring. That was a big. Well, guys, we were gonna hit probably a handful more current breaks and spots on the way back. We've been fishing. I mean, we've been fishing hard all day and for all but probably about 15 minutes. It's been real tough, but we're, we're paying it forward right now. We saw these guys. We're probably, I mean, we're a ways. I don't know if you guys can see those two towers up there. That's where we got to go. But uh, yeah, we probably got about five miles. But these guys were broken down. Um, they got 15 minutes to get back to weigh in. They're probably not going to get back with this. They don't get a big bag anyways. So we're paying it forward. Getting a good little karma start for the northbound tour. And uh, yeah, helping some, helping some fishermen's brothers out. HBO. Help a brother out, Zark.
got off the water. That pretty much wraps up day one. I guess adventure one of the northbound tour. We didn't catch an absolute slaunch to Saurus Rex today, but we caught some solid fish. Also something the Zark and I failed to mention earlier in the video, we decided this last night. Joe said if he catches a small mouse seven pounds or bigger, he will get a tattoo of whatever gets commented by the MFers and gets the highest amount of thumbs up. So stay tuned for the future video. We didn't catch seven pounder today. We, the biggest we caught was like four and a half, four and three quarter. Um, but if we catch a seven pounder, which is totally possible, someone just caught a nine and three quarter or something at the lake we're fishing tomorrow. Um, but if we catch one of those, definitely stay tuned because you guys are going to get to pick the, the tattoo. And then I decided that I was going to, uh, I was going to match that. I will also do the same thing. Zark, what'd you think about the, the fishing today? First time at the Detroit River? It was a good time. Yeah? yeah that flurry we had was fun. He needs something to eat and probably some sleep because we slept like an hour and a half. So I think what we're going to do now is go, we got the grill, so I'm going to go cook some stuffs and we're going to a laundromat to dry our stuff out because my, my stuff's soaked, our rain stuff soaked. We don't got nice things and it's wet anyways and we got a long trip with lots of rain coming up ahead of us. If you like this video, please go subscribe, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, let us know what you think and what you want to see on the rest of the Northbound Tour. We'll catch you in the morning. We're out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine. I can't stop with a love like mine. Drying the clothes off, cooking some dinner, drinking some beers. <laughs>